didn't think I did anything wrong. Don't really think I was pushing any harder in that turn far than any other lap. But he is down and out. And it's another big, big blow for his world title hopes. No points in Mugello. No points in Barcelona. A tough, tough seven days for Anea Bastianini. Martin's already really suffering in this Grand Prix. We're only on lap 11 of 24. We're coming up towards half distance but for the second consecutive lap Martin was way down in the 141s so and 141 367 his teammate John Zarco is flying though he's seven tenths a lap faster Zarco was actually the fastest rider on track last time around we saw it last year Zarco finished this Grand Prix very very strongly he looks as if he's on target to do something very similar this time around Quattararo on lap 11, a 149.24. Here comes Oliveira then, past his teammate Brabinder briefly. Oliveira going way out wide into the runoff of turn one, unable to outbreak his teammate Brabinder. Oliveira forced to rejoin via the exit of the long lap penalty loop and try and launch another challenge on Brabinder. But the KTM battle goes on, they're battling for eighth at the moment. Just behind them is Alex Marquez, who's having a good afternoon considering he started stone dead last in this Grand Prix, 25th on the grid. He's up into 10th. Darren Binder next up in 11th. He's having another good afternoon after a great weekend last time out in Mugello. He's ahead of Paulus Fargro, whose plummet down the field continues. He's lapping in the 142s at the moment. Having faded late on with grip problems, this man though has been absolutely superb. From Fabio Quattararo, the world champion, peels through the final corner. Fabio Quattararo wins the MotoGP in 2022. He leads home a French one through, takes his 10th, 7th place in the MotoGP World Championship. A top run a top 10. There's going to be points of Benzecchi, Fernandez, Mormodelli, Davizioso and Gardner. But it's a huge congratulations once again. Thumbs up from Fabio Quattararo. This long race weekend also comes to a close with the end of the MotoGP race. All we can do is to see the race ranking together. See you in a moment for the podium ceremony.